Greetings friends, this is Jason Yeldell, the lead developer for Yeldell Scientific. Today we're going to continue our discussion on a set of custom apps that we have created optimized for use on the Windows Surface Pro series of tablets, but really it'll work on any Windows PC or laptop, but it's optimized for Windows Surface Pro to really get the best enjoyment out of it. The one that we want to showcase today is what we call the Surface Point of Sale Cash Register. What this app does is basically turn your Windows Surface Pro into a fully functional cash register system by relying on an embedded use of Microsoft Excel in the background and relying on that to generate all of your calculations in the back end. But it provides you with a very pretty, slick, and easy to use interface that's touchscreen sensitive to use as a point of sale cash register system. You can download it from yeldellscientific.com. So to go right into that, I already installed it on this machine. It's basically a very simple setup. You're just installing a couple files but I'm gonna launch it now, the Excel POS. And let's assume that I have a business where I sell burgers and fries. So I'm at the main menu, and let's set up this POS so that I can sell my burgers and fries. So I'll go to admin settings, I'll change the name of my store to Joe's Burgers, or whatever we like. I can set how much tax I wanna charge against each order, but more importantly, we can set up a Favicon URL um, or an image to display um, for the branding of our particular store. So what I can do is simply browse for an image I have locally on my machine. So I'll select image, and let's just browse for an image that I have in my pictures folder. So let's just see, I want the B icon. I think that's the image of a burger. Okay, so that's the image that I want for my store. I can click save, and then I'm done. It will refresh, and then upon relaunching the software, I now have my particular branding applied to the point of sale system. So let's open that back up. And now we can see Joe's Burgers, and we can see my icon. Now you can choose a larger icon so it can stretch appropriately and scale, but uh, any icon will do, any image will be shown, right? So Joe's Burgers. So now I can set up my cash register for different items that I want to sell. So I'll go to add product, and let's just say I want to sell french fries. Let's spell that correctly. Um, the description, the SKU, all that's optional, but let's say I had a SKU, I can put that in there. Um, the price, I can set it for $2.99, and let's say I have an uh, infinite number of those in stock. And let's assign a category for searchable metrics. Let's just call that food. And now I can assign an image to that particular item. And I go to my pictures folder. And let's go here. And I think I have an image of some french fries already saved. But you can grab any image you want. And there's my image. And then I can save that. And I can repeat the process for a cheeseburger. And let's just leave that blank. Let's put whatever we want here. Let's say it's 449. And let's say I have 5,000 in stock, or we could leave that blank, it doesn't really matter. And then let's assign the metrics category to it. Let's just call it food. And let's find an image for it. Let's go to the same location, go anywhere on your machine, and just grab an image. Very easy to use. Amazingly, all of this is done uh, on the surface through the use of Excel. So we'll save that, cancel out, and all this is touchscreen sensitive. I'm using my mouse right now just for demonstration. So let's say someone comes in, I'm ready for business now, I'm selling my cheeseburgers and fries. I want to place a new order. Someone walks into my establishment, I have my surface set up already within a kiosk, or just sitting up on the counter, it doesn't matter. I tap new, new sale, and then now I can see my POS is loaded with the icons that I had already specified. And let's say the person wants two orders of fries and one cheeseburger. I'll tap fries twice. That's once, that's twice, and I'll tap cheeseburger once, that's once. We can see that the total is automatically calculated, the tax is already tallied, and then we can say, how are they paying? I have some icons at the bottom for different types of payment. Let's say they gave me a $50 bill. So I automatically calculate the change as $38.80. I can add some customer information if I wanted to for searchable metrics. Uh, let's just say the customer was John Doe. And they gave me their email address at jdoe at yahoo.com. Sorry if that's anyone's real email address out there. Um, and then we can just check out. So we can check out. Let's say that they're paying with, um, let's say they're paying in cash. We have the ability to do any one of these options. So we'll select cash. Confirm that they were giving back their $38.80. We'll say yes. And then boom, we're done. 
very, very simple. We created a POS system in less than maybe five minutes. We configured it, it's ready for use. Um, we have the receipt displayed on screen, but if the customer wanted an e-receipt, we can tap the mail icon and boom, it's automatically gonna send them an email for, as an e-receipt. This is all beautifully done on the Microsoft Surface, but it will work in uh, any Windows PC or laptop. If we wanted to print a real receipt, we could do that at this time by tapping on the print icon, and it's gonna interface with Microsoft Word to generate a real receipt. And we can see that it already loaded up in the background, and there it is. We can see that, just enable that for editing real quick, because I was currently not enabled for editing. And we have their real receipt. Very, very easy to use on the Microsoft Surface. So we can close out of here, Tap the print icon for their receipt. Microsoft Word will load. And boom, we have the receipt. Very, very easy to use on the Surface. So now we have one sale done. We're back to the main menu. If we ever want to look up something, we can very, very easily. We can just type in something very simple like J. Doe. That was the person's name. And look up. And we see that there was one result. And boom, we have that order. We have a full search engine built into this system. That Microsoft, uh, that failure is due because I'm not online at the moment, but that's all well and good. So now if we wanted to view our inventory, let's say we were selling something where we wanted to track inventory. In this case, I'm selling burgers and fries, so we don't really want to track inventory per se. But if we were selling widgets, some kind of physical item, we can click on view inventory and we can see that the stock number has automatically decreased by the amount that we sold. Very, very elegant, very, very simple to use. Your employees will love it. Let's cancel out of here. If we ever want to see our metrics, we can click on metrics and see our sales metrics, boom, we had one order for $11.20. That's our sales to date, that's our today, our month, and our yearly total. But as we increase the orders, that metric will increase. So just for the sake of that, let's increase, and let's add another order to the system. Someone just wants two cheeseburgers, boom, boom. Two cheeseburgers, let's say that they wanna check out. Let's say that they gave us actually 961. Let's type that in, 961. Boom, it's done, no change, let's check out. They paid with credit card. Let's confirm that it was swiped at this point. At this point, we could swipe the card. We'll say yes. Boom, we're done. We added another order to the system. So let's go back out to the metrics. And we can see our metrics increase. Boom. Very, very easy to use. There's no need to buy a cumbersome cash register system, a cumbersome point of sale solution. This is using Microsoft Excel with automation on the Microsoft Surface. And uh, we invite you to download this. It's available for instant download. Just go to yelldellscientific.com. You'll see the link for custom Surface apps. Feel free to download away. Provide us with any feedback that you may have. And we'll see you in the next video.